people and welcome back to my channel so guys like okay today i'm going to show you guys teach you guys how to paint on um, border cream yes if you're tired like i was tired of my regular border cream cakes and i wanted something different for this particular cake so i decided to try something new so i said to paint on border cream with border cream so if you want to try something new with your border cream cakes this is a video for you in the meantime like <laughs> i'm wearing a simpson shirt yeah when i was a kid like this was our favorite pattern like <laughs> Okay, we didn't have Nickelodeon or anything. We used to watch NBC3. I don't know if you know that. Yes. But Sydney is a night we used to watch NBC3. And they used to show um, Simpsons every day, as well as on Fox. Oh god, we loved them. We loved them. And my favorite character was Bart Simpson. <laughs> okay, guys, back to the, you know. So today, guys, I'm going to show you how to paint on butter cream. You don't need any special tool in case you don't have those palette knives that I used. You can as well use your spoon or your thread. I'm going to show you how to do that. Or you could use a knife, the sharp tip of a knife. It is very easy. So let's get started. So guys, the first thing you want to do is make sure your cake is smooth. Your buttercream cake is smooth. So if you watch, I'm going to put the video up here for you to see how I use a cake comb. I have a video where I showed you guys how to use a cake comb properly so that your buttercream cakes can be perfect every single time. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go over that again. But if you want to see in depth how to use a cake comb on your cake and make it come out perfect, you should watch that video. It says watch me. I'm going to put the link right here. Okay, so what you want to do next is make sure there is an even um, even amount of um, buttercream around your cake first and then you spread it all around and then you hold your cake comb upright look at what i'm doing the most important thing is to make sure your cake comb is standing upright and the only way to do that is to make sure like you buy a cake comb that has a very flat end that way all you have to do is place the flat end of the cake comb on top of your cake board and then move your turntable around that way your cake comb is standing upright which means your cake will be the sides of your cake will be perfectly upright if you understand what i'm saying and it won't be dented or it won't be slanty or crooked in any way it will be upright so notice what i'm doing my cake comb is resting on top of the cake board directly on top of the cake board okay so put your cake in the freezer for the next 30 minutes to one hour and then the top will firm up the top of the buttercream will firm up on top so you can use a sharp knife or even a blunt knife you can use any knife basically and then you're going to scrape off the top like that's what gives you the perfect sharp edges on buttercream did you notice what i did i kept the cake in the freezer and then brought it out and then use a knife to basically cut off the extra buttercream on top of it so now we have a cake that is standing upright all the sides are upright and the top is flat and smooth and it has perfect edges yeah <laughs> that's what you're looking for okay so once you have this the next thing i like to do is to like um cut out my printout and then try to fit it as much as possible you don't want the printout to be taller than the cake so you have to like cut it to a size that is like approximate to the size of the cake and if you know me well you know i like to accessorize on my cakes and i like to use fabrics <laughs> okay so usually i buy these fabrics from this um accessories from fabric stores yes you can get them from fabric stores or those places where they sell things for tailor stuff i don't know and then i use those and i use ribbons and then at this point i was not supposed to do this first i was supposed to put my picture first before doing any of this so i kind of ended up removing it again and then putting my picture the life of a cake artist okay guys so the next thing is to put the picture but right now i made a mistake so i have to <laughs> remove what i did and then put the picture because it won't look right if you put the picture on top of it it will look it won't look seamlessly put together i don't know if you understand me so it's best you put the picture first make sure the picture is laying flat and it is sticking to um every part of it is sticking to the border cream you don't need to pour water or glue or anything the um the wetness of the border cream makes the edible picture stick oh it looks so cute okay guys <laughs> so the next thing we want to do is put back our accessories and then we are going to paint and for painting this cake i made some i colored some of this buttercream 
in um, red and some in green and this is my um, Swiss mirroring body cream if you want to see how that is done I'm going to put the link right up here so you guys can like see the recipe for my Swiss mirroring body cream it is easy and perfect and it colors perfectly guys like it is the perfect body cream like this is the best body cream I've ever used okay guys so I bought this palette knife from my cake vendor my vendor so I wasn't sure what it was used for but I just wanted to see what it was gonna do <laughs> so I bought it so that's what we're going to be using today if you don't have this do not fret guys all you have to do is to use a spoon you can use a spoon to make because with this one I made bigger flowers I made some other smaller flowers so you can use like a teaspoon in, in the plate in place of this one or in addition to that you can also use um, the tip of a knife or you can use the bottom of um, a tablespoon those things can work really well for you and it's even be better because those things are not as flat as this one imagine if the edges are not flat it gives you this seamless like natural flower looking looking style what am I saying anywho you guys understand what I'm saying so I made some bigger flowers now I'm going to go around and make some even smaller flowers so it can look like you can look intentional I don't just want to make it big I want to make some big flowers and some small flowers so guys if you do not have any of this palette knives you can also use um, like mini spatulas like I have some mini spatulas I used to first cakes you can use mini spatulas or you can use the tip of a knife you can use different knives and be like the tip of the bread knife to do the big flowers and then the tip of like maybe a table a small table knife to do the smaller flowers or you can even use the bottom of a spoon or the bottom of a fork basically you can use almost anything that make sure you're not dipping if you're using a knife though make sure you're not dipping the tip of the knife into the cake otherwise you see the indent you're making with the knife so it doesn't have to be perfect flowers are not perfect <laughs> every flower doesn't look the same they all look different like you know in its natural state okay so guys that's all we're gonna do so after doing this once you've gone around the whole cake then make sure the big ones you make are not too many so you can have space to make the smaller ones so once you've gone around the whole cake the next thing you want to do is to make some buttercream and add some green food coloring into it so you can make some green and then we're going to use the green to pipe on as the leaves of the flowers that way it makes it look more a little bit more realistic and kind of like 3d ish if that makes any sense okay so what you want to do at first is cut the tip of your piping bag very tiny you know how you cut it like if you want to cut out if you want it to pipe like a leaf you cut it like in the shape of a v and then cut it very tiny so you can make the leaves for the small flowers first because ideally the leaves of the big, bigger flowers should be bigger than the leaves for the smaller flowers <laughs> if that makes sense so that's what we're gonna do so the first thing i did was to cut out the tip to be small so i could pipe out the smaller flowers and then i took the scissors and made the like widened the mouth of the piping tip and then piped the bigger flowers for piped the bigger leaves for the bigger flowers that way it looks more like realistic basically and so that's all we're gonna do we're going to pipe flowers all around the cake and that's all we're gonna do and then we're going to stick a topper on top usually when i make cakes like this i like to use those wooden toppers or those paper toppers it helps to bring your design together like seamlessly so usually before i do this i charge my customers and tell them okay the topper is this price and you have to pay this price for a topper so that way like before you even finish making the cake they like before like you already know what design you're making so you already know you need a topper and they already paid for that topper if that makes any sense so that's what we're gonna do see how nice this cake looks and she loved it <laughs> she really loved it i think after this I shot this video in February, yes, and I'm just uploading it in May. Ridiculous, right? I know. So I thought it looks a little plain, so I decided to add some rosettes with the 1M tip, the built-in 1M tip, yeah. So it made it come together a bit better. It gave it like a pop of color since like the red and the green is a little dull, like a little Christmas-ish. So the next thing we want to do is add some pearls gold red and green like it made it come together seamlessly 
and see how pretty this cake is man <laughs> okay guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you like like this video if you like it just click on like and subscribe thank you and see you next time